Oh my God, guys. Flutter 1.5. It's looking really good. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Kilo Loco, and today we're going to be going over something that's a little bit different than what I usually cover. And today we're going to be talking about Flutter, more specifically Flutter 1.5 that was just released at Google's I.O. event. And uh, a couple of things that they talked about in regards to how Flutter just got a whole lot better. Now, apparently the boys and girls over there at Google have been working their butts off trying to get Flutter to the next level. And they pretty much did that by accomplishing getting Flutter on the web. That's right. One step closer to overthrowing JavaScript. So what they showed off was that there's this puzzle game that they made and it was running on web, Android, iOS, and I think I want to say Mac OS or, or no Chrome OS. It was Chrome OS. And uh, all of that was made using the same code, which is pretty awesome because now you got that super cross platform development. You got the web and the devices like the mobile devices and the desktops, which is it's, it's looking really cool. So just the fact that they're moving towards that, I mean, they're only in kind of like a, a preview stage at this round. Like they're just kind of showing off like what they can do and, and where it's kind of getting to. But um, it's not like ready for production just yet. But just the fact that it's getting to that level is it's pretty cool to me. Now, I kind of already uh, like mentioned this a little bit, but yeah, they're moving Flutter also over to the desktop and it's not just desktop for Windows or anything like that. They're moving it over to Windows, they're moving it over to Mac, they're moving it over to Linux. So you can essentially be writing Flutter on any, like you can make Flutter apps for any of these desktops now. Um, this one I think is in a very early stage, it's nowhere near ready and I think it's even earlier, it's, it's, it's even more in its infancy than uh, just the web part of it. But the fact that they're just looking to accomplish some of these goals on getting it on the three major operating systems, on Mac OS, on Windows, on Linux, that's just, that's, that's the big stuff. Those are the big leagues, boy. Now, another cool thing that they kind of mentioned, if you have a Chromebook that you'll actually be able to build directly to the Chromebook um, because it would be accepting the Flutter software. So you wouldn't even need an emulator in order to run your app on the Chromebook. You would actually be able to build it directly to the Chromebook and you would be able to see your app go live right on the Chromebook. I might have to pick up a Chromebook. And then another thing that they mentioned is that just the ability to be able to publish Flutter apps over to the Chrome OS. So you'd be able to put your apps up for Chrome OS and then you would actually be able to download those or people would be able to download those apps onto Chrome and then they would actually be able to use those apps. So now you can start distributing those desktop apps. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dang battery just died on me. All right, now moving right along, they also mentioned that they're gonna be working on getting Flutter onto embedded um, devices. So essentially you'd be able to embed Flutter onto things like Raspberry Pi, um, you'd be able to have it in your, you know, in your car, you'd be able to have it like for, for home appliances and things like that. So you're gonna be able to actually make flutter apps for all kinds of stuff and i just think that's really cool because you know as we get into this age where everything is moving way like more and more towards internet of things and just the the ability to you know have these small little computers where you can just create to do all these little different side projects i think that's just super awesome because you know you can just go out there you can make like one of those awesome like smart mirrors or you can just i mean you could do so many different things like you could make all kinds of little things around your house i mean i can't i can't think of anything right now of course but i just think that it's super awesome because um raspberry pi has always been something that i've been like kind of interested in it's just like i'm not good at soldering so i need to buy like a full fledged raspberry pi last time i bought the zero and that was like that was no bueno because i i didn't know how to solder, solder but yeah uh just the fact that you're going to be able to get you know flutter onto your raspberry pi be writing everything in dart using flutter design your your ui and everything like that it's it's just I feel like it's a huge step in the right direction and it's going to just give us even more capabilities to just write once 
and go everywhere. And of course, this wouldn't really be a conversation about Flutter if I didn't mention mobile because, you know, Flutter really is like mainly for mobile right now. So uh, obviously, based off of all the feedback that, that they've been getting in regards to how to make the Flutter framework better, they've made hundreds of changes to the Flutter framework and they've actually made some improvements, which I'm super excited about because this is going to help me in my uh, contract or the, the freelancing gig that I have right now uh, for all of all of those true Kilo Loco fans. They already know. But yeah, it's going to make it so much easier for us to actually interact with the app store, especially on iOS and, you know, do in-app purchases much, much easier because all that stuff is going to be baked into 1.5. So that's like a huge plus, like whenever it comes to making money with your apps, obviously that's a huge plus because let's face it, we're all here for the money. I mean, I know I say code passionately and I most certainly do, but at the end of the day, we need to pay those bills, right? <laughs> So obviously, along with all those hundreds of changes that they made to the Flutter framework, and they did try to focus on non-breaking changes, but I think they did mention that there are going to be some, some breaking changes. I mean, that's to be expected, but it's, it's essentially in order to make Flutter that much better. So you're going to have to go through the hard step of just like, you know, probably fixing a couple of things in your code, but they did try to minimize it. So it's not going to be super ridiculous. Um, but yeah, there's probably going to be a couple of things that are broken in your code. Just go back and fix those and you should be fine. But some of the changes that they implemented were just in general to make the iOS and the material widgets look and feel a whole lot better, give them better functionality, better efficiency, and things like that. So our Flutter apps are pretty much only going to get better from here on out. It's just super awesome. I love the fact that 1.5 dropped today and that they're releasing so much good news, showing so much potential in Flutter's future, just saying that, hey, it's down here right now but it can go all the way up here. <laughs> but yeah, tell me what you guys think about Flutter 1.5. Do you think it's good that they updated the framework even though it's gonna have some code breaking changes? Are the changes worth it? What do you think? So yeah, that's gonna be all for today, guys. I just wanted to talk real quick about this, this cool topic that I just came across and I just wanted to share that with you guys in case you weren't aware of Flutter 1.5 coming to you live oh yeah making your apps go all over the world oh yeah and then also i wanted to ask you guys are you interested in seeing some flutter tutorials because i know like i said i don't usually cover anything on flutter at all but i am thinking about doing a couple of tutorials i'm definitely going to have a course on it eventually i'm still learning but that's why I'm offering tutorials right now is because while I'm still learning, there's stuff that I can put out that I do know about, which can help you start building some of your first Flutter apps. So let me know in the comments below. You guys want to start seeing some Flutter tutorials? You want to see this 1.5 go live? Let me know. Let me know, man. All right. That's going to be all for today, guys. Thanks for stopping by and go out there and make sure you keep coding passionately.